Hi, welcome to the App Code on YouTube. Today we're going to take a look at adding a modal view to an app. A modal view is really just a view that takes over the screen and forces the user to perform some sort of action before they can move to another screen. And we'll see that in action here as soon as we get it set up. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new tab bar application. I'm just going to name it Modal View Tutorial. I've already been playing with this, so I'm just going to go ahead and replace the one that I have there. Let me get my screen sized correctly for you here. And the first thing we'll do is we will add a new view. Now this new view will act as our modal view, but really you create it just like you would any other view that is a UI view controller subclass. So we're going to select that. I'm also going to create the nib file at the same time. So I've got this checkbox checked. And I will just name it my modal view controller. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and set up the nib file. Get the user interface all set. Um, I'm not going to do anything fancy here. I'm just going to change the background to blue. I'm going to add a label here. A modal view, like I said, is something where the user usually needs to perform some sort of action before the view will go away. So I'm going to type that into the label here. User performs some action and then the button. Go ahead and make that a couple lines. And a period. Okay, now let's go ahead and add our button. And I'll just title it done. Just like that. Okay, now our other view, our first view nib file, um, I'm really just going to use the default and add a button to it. So it's nothing special and I will name this one go to modal view just like that. Okay that's it for the user interface. Now let's go ahead and start adding the code and we're going to start in first view controller header file and the first thing we'll need to do is import our new class that my modal view controller like that and then we're going to create a instance variable of it nothing special about this this is just how we always define the view and of course we're going to set its properties again nothing special about this either and then finally we're going to define a IB action and we'll just name it go to modal view. Just like that. Okay, now we need to go ahead and get into our implementation file and set up everything there. The first thing we're going to do is synthesize our variable. So we'll do that here. And then we're going to implement our IB action. And this code will be very familiar to you. It's the same kind of um, if block we use when we're pushing any other view into place. So we're just going to check and see if our instance variable is nil. And if it is, we'll create a new temporary instance of it. So, and it of course will be of the type my modal view controller alloc init with nib name. The nib name is my modal view controller. And then we'll just set the bundle. do and now after we've created that temporary 
um, variable, we can assign it to our local instance variable, just like we always do. And then, of course, once we've taken care of that, we can release that temporary variable, just like that. Now, here is the line of code that will actually present our modal view. And the name of the method is present modal view controller. And we're just going to pass in our local version of our temporary of our um, instance variable, and we're going to tell it uh, animate yes. And that's all there is to that. Now we're also going to want to dismiss this view after the user performs some sort of action. So we're going to go into my modal view controller and first in the header file we will declare another IB action. And we'll name this dismiss modal view. Actually, we're going to dismiss my modal view, just so it doesn't get confused with any um, other methods out there. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy that, take it into our implementation file, and implement it here. And you'll see this method is simple. It's just one line of code, and it is just self, if I can spell it correctly, self and dismiss modal view controller animated. We'll say yes to the animated, save that, and we're just about ready. The last thing to do is link up those IB actions to our buttons, which I'm going to do right here. So this one is going to link to go to modal view. And the user touches up the inside. And then our other button here will link up to dismiss my modal view. Again, touch up inside. Okay, go ahead and save that. And that should be it. Let's go ahead and run and see if I've forgotten anything, which is entirely possible. But let's check it out. The build succeeded. So we're loading up our first view. Here it is. We select the button, and it brings up our modal view. And we hit the done button and it goes away. Now here is where we can demonstrate the modal view and what it really does. Um, you can see here we have a tab bar application and when you select the modal view, the modal view actually covers up that tab bar so the user can't go to any other navigation items until they perform some sort of action and hit the done button then they can navigate around. So that's what a modal view is, and that's how you present one. I hope you found this useful. As always, please come visit me at theappcodeblog.com for other tutorials on other subjects as well as this one. And until next time, have a great day.